So let's go ahead and click the level button and we'll go ahead and level the bed. Confirm. So it's going to home again. And here you guys can see we get a leveling menu and it looks a little complicated at first but it's actually not too bad. We have two types of leveling we can do, auxiliary and automatic. And what we need to do first is auxiliary and that's basically manual. We do have three knobs on each side and we do have stationary pins in the middle that mount to the frame. And there's only two of them right in the middle kind of. To the front and back we don't have anything but we do have an aluminum rail that runs from the sides that keeps this pretty flat. So what you want to do in this type of bed is level from the middle middle out meaning the middle is your baseline and everything else should adjust to the middle because this is a hard point and it's not adjustable and so what we're going to do is we're going to do auxiliary first which is the manual and then we'll go to automatic and then it's going to do the offset go through the bed and probe it and set the offsets in the memory so it can compensate as it's moving so before we click on the auxiliary what we need to do is set our offset because if we don't set it now it's not going to really work like we need it to we can't level off the middle to the end so we need first to set the offset set right here up and down and you're going to need some kind of sheet of paper or posting note. Go between the nozzle and the bed. Here we can go in increments. So let's go with one millimeter first and we'll go down. So two millimeters was too much so I'm going to go to point 0.1 and start going down a little bit slower. And we're just going down until we start to feel friction between the nozzle and the bed. All right, so I feel some friction. I'm going to go to point 0.1 and go up just a little because we're too tight here. I do have a pretty thin posty note. So just a slight drag between the nozzle and the bed. So now we can click auxiliary, confirm. And that's going to take us to this menu, which you guys can see the corners here that we can adjust or the sides. So let's go ahead and go to one. So now that we know that our center is pretty much where we want it to be with this note, we can go around and adjust each corner or I guess each side the same way. So here we're a little loose but actually it was very close so it was almost perfect. Let's go to number two which is going to be in the middle over there which is also a little loose but pretty much perfect actually so yeah it was already very close. We'll go to three next and this is way too tight. There we go that feels really good. Because I moved that one so much I need to go back to two and check it make sure it's still okay and it's too loose. So let's tighten it up just a bit. Quite a bit loose actually. All right, there we go. We got a slight drag. Perfect. So let's go to one back up front and it's a little tight. So we need to back it up a bit here and that's perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to two and then three to confirm and then we'll go to this side. Again, it doesn't have to be super perfect, but you know, the closer you get it, the less compensating it has to do. So we finish this side. Let's go ahead and go to this side. Now we'll start with four and we'll do five and six. Same process here. So here we are way too loose. So we need to go up with the bed and I have to adjust this a lot actually. There we go, starting to get tighter. Also again, way too loose. Now we're going to this corner, which is six. Again, too loose. Go back now to five, check it, four, and then go back this way and we'll be done. Let's just go ahead and jump over there real quick and see if anything changed. And sure enough, it did a little bit. It got a little looser. Well, actually a lot looser. Okay, well, make sure you go back to the other end and check. I had to move the knob about a quarter turn, which is a lot. Yeah, they're all too loose. I guess it kind of makes sense because we are pivoting on the center. If we raise the side up, that side's going to fall down naturally. So, all right, now it's perfect. Let's go back to this side and make sure we didn't throw that off. Well, we did a little bit, but it was very slight amount. So, yeah, it's a very small turn, but still, it's off a little bit. And we are good. Now, you can't go back and micro, micro adjust, but that's already pretty close. And we are already taking a lot of time going back and forth. And the reason you do want to do that is the more flat this bed is, the better chance there is for the first layer to stick evenly and the Z rods don't have to compensate going around the whole bed. They still will compensate, but they won't be having a very drastic point from here to here where they really have to dip up and down. And it has to do that throughout the whole print. So keep that in mind. If it starts all wobbly, it's gonna keep printing wobbly to, cut, to try to keep that level. So take your time, do this part as much as you need. And when you're done, we're gonna click home. And here we'll be able to check how close we are. And actually it doesn't go all the way down where we can check. So let's go ahead and basically click back to finish it. And so it's going to ask us to confirm that we want to go to add a leveling next, which we do. So we're going to do that, confirm. So now it's going to go through the whole bed and take a bunch of measurements. And if you guys could maybe kind of see, there are 121 points. So there's all these numbers that are kind of grayed out. They're going to start lighting up as it takes their measurements. So yeah, this is definitely gonna take a while.
And that is all 121 of them. So here it tells us that we need to do the offset for the nozzle again. And it kind of explains what the correct amount is. Click confirm. So let's see if we need to go up or down. It does appear that we need to go up a little. But it was only about 0.5 or so. Or I'm sorry, 0 0.05. So a very, very small amount. Maybe a little more there. So you just want to have some drag. And yeah, we're pretty much done with the level. So here we can see all of our measurements and what the offsets are. And you guys can see we're really close on all of them. The most is 0.1 something, which is really, really good. Most of them are 0, 0.0 something. So yeah, very happy about that. So once you're done, all you got to do is just click back and it'll save everything. Here's going to ask us save and restart. We're going to click confirm. It's going to save the data. And there we go.